Tonight, Niger's military leader Abdurrahman Chiani says he is unfazed by what he describes as a Machiavellian tactics uh, being taking place to under undermine the regime which seized power through a coup d'etat a couple of days ago. Uh, ECOWAS leaders gave a week's ultimatum for the reinstatement of deposed leader President Mohamed, Mohamed, Mohamed Bazoum, uh, else they will use military force to restore constitutional order. Now thousands guarded at the main stadium in Niamey uh, to support the military coup ahead of the deadline uh, for the military regime to step down. ECOWAS, thre ECOWAS threatened military action uh, if the oust ousted President Mohamed ba Bazoum was not reinstated, uh, although uh, that's not being supported by all of its uh, members. Uh, but let, br let me bring in Mukta Mouni Mukta, who is the Executive Director for West Africa Center for Counter-Extremism, uh, joining us on a conversation as uh, the regime has also addressed a gathering uh, at a stadium in Niamey. Uh, thank you, Mukta, for spending some time with us. First of all, what do you make of uh, this uh, statement we're receiving from the leader of the military regime in Niger, indicating uh, that he's unfazed by all the attempts to cut aid supply or uh, the attempt by ECOWAS to also deploy their troops? Well, first of all, uh, that is what you would expect from coup leaders, uh, people who have put their lives on the line and seeking to project the show of power and defiance. And so what we're seeing is nothing extraordinary in terms of what is, you know, um, typical of coup leaders. And so he's doing this also very, very strategically to be able to mobilize support from the local population to ensure that they remain defiant, to ensure that they prevail at the end of the day. And if you uh, look at what has happened in the last seven days, uh, these are people who are very conscious of what they're doing. And so they will be monitoring the ground and they will be monitoring all actions and all you know, happenings around the region from stakeholders, as well as local you know, elements. And so they would have realized that there isn't enough goodwill and support for military intervention in Niger, and that would have emboldened them uh, to come out with this kind of rally intended at mobilizing more local support and legitimacy for themselves. Uh, the leader, Abdurrahman Chiani, addressing uh, a gathering there in Niamey, indicating that he's unfazed by attempts to cut aid supply. Do you see that as a sign of defiance? Of course, clearly, he's sending, you know, communication, you know, and I'm communicating to the, you know, ECOWAS block and as, as well as Nigeria, that what they have done in terms of the uh, deterrent measures, in terms of the sanctions, in terms of the no-fly zone, in terms of the border closure, and more especially the cuttings of supply, power supply to the region. He's trying to communicate that they are unfazed by that. But clearly, anyone in that situation would know how biting that situation is. Any kind of action that plunges your nation into darkness, into crisis like this, it's a huge blow because Niger actually depends on external you know, electricity. About 70% of their energy needs come from Nigeria. And for that to happen, it's a huge blow. But as a leader, you need to be able to you know, kind of stage a kind of um, you know, action that would ensure that you remain popular, you remain defiant, and you remain, you know, positive as a leader in the eyes of the local population. And now uh, the final consideration for President Akufando to either contribute troops from the Ghanaian military or otherwise. Would that be a helpful decision now? We already know that, for instance, the Nigerian Senate has uh, rejected that, that decision by their president to supply troops for ECOWAS to deploy into Niger. What should President Akufado consider, knowing that the ultimatum expires today? Mukta, if you can hear me, I'm just asking what, what the president should consider, knowing that the ultimatum is expiring to, to, today. Uh, but by way of background, we need to indicate that um, ECOWAS has given an ultimatum uh, for a week and that uh, ultimatum is expiring uh, today. Uh, we're awaiting a statement on what the next steps will be. Uh, earlier in the week, we heard from the Defence Minister, Dominic Nitiwo, who indicated uh, that the forces uh, here in Ghana stand ready to be deployed if the president gives the go-ahead uh, for the deployment of the troop 
um, that will be formed by um, ECOWAS. We're still waiting to see what the final statement will be after military chiefs met in Abuja uh, over the weekend. Uh, th that meeting concluded over the weekend and we're expecting some statement uh, on that. We'll definitely bring you updates as, as and when we have them.